Well, hello everybody and welcome to this episode of G-Bear's Home... Nope, that, I almost did it. I almost said homesteading in the desert. G-Bear's off-grid ways. Homestead in the desert. Yeah, I just got back from the trip down to the OC. I'll show you, I did take my star off of my Christmas cactus and I put the Christmas decorations away. But uh, we got a uh, forecast for the next six days. Five of them are supposed to produce rain. So we're going to see what happens with that. And I'm going to zoom in on those mountains over there, show you the snow on those. And the snow goes way down low. Uh, that's what happened on the last... Um, the last rain that we're supposed to have here, they got snow in the mountains, but we didn't get any rain over here. But uh, for the next six days, we're supposed to see more of that. And uh, you can see the clouds are already building in here, and it's still getting a little chilly out. Not much wind. The girls are all fed and cleaned, and I harvested whatever eggs I could get out of there. And uh, all my plants are doing well, it's as well as can be expected with the cold temperatures we've been having. And I'm going to get some work done tomorrow. Hopefully the uh, rain won't start until later in the day tomorrow. I'm going to get the ATV out and see if I can't get that pond dug a little bit deeper and get down to some really hard packed clay so I can hold some water in there for a little bit longer than uh, normal. And... Uh, I'll try enlarging that thing. I need to go uh, pick up some gasoline. I, I'm down to about a quarter tank on the ATV, so I uh, loaded up my uh, gas bottles or, or my uh, fuel bottles, and I'm going to go get those filled up. I did bring these up from my friend Vince's house. I got those three filled with water, so I'm going to go around and make sure everything is topped off except my rain barrels. And uh, we'll go from there. I also brought some uh, dog food back for my neighbors, uh, John and Letty. Uh, see if they uh, can use some of that for, for the dogs that they rescue. And uh, we'll go from there. Other than that, it's uh, been a pretty nice day out here today. I didn't get much done because I spent most of the time driving. And... Uh, Hopefully my friend Andy will be able to get up here next week. Um, I don't know if he wants to come up in the rain or not, but uh, uh, if the streams are flowing, you never know. There might be some gold coming down. He wants to do some gold panning. Beautiful look at the mountains over there. and uh, We're going into the sunset here, but uh, the clouds are, like I said, building in. So let's see what happens with that this will be a short video tonight just want to let you know I'm okay everything is going fine um, I was going to do some digging on that uh, uh, gray water catchment there but uh, can't do anything with the, uh, the the water I got in the bottom there the ground ground freezes and by the time it thaws in the daytime it's too late to do any digging anyway so we'll have to wait for the weather to break that's all for today. Don't forget, if you like my videos, give me a thumbs up down there. And uh, if uh, I can get to it, I, uh, Forever Norse has asked me about uh, doing a little thing on uh, soldering irons. Um, to be right up front for you, uh, you were asking about uh, what types of solders to use. Okay, you use rosin core solder for electrical. And you use acid core, acid core solders for uh, holding metals together, like making little toolboxes, things like that. So if you're going to be doing electronics, the only thing you want to buy is rosin core solder. And uh, I, I'll pull out one of the rolls I have. I'll show you the uh, uh, everything that's on there, the way they uh, specify it, so that you know exactly what to buy. All right. G-Bear signing off.